Next here tonight to a stunning image of a young high school football player collapsing on the side of the field. At first, the teen stumbling off the field and then collapsing rushed immediately into surgery. This incident, of course, the latest in a dangerous season already. Seven young players losing their lives in just seven weeks. And tonight there are new questions about the helmet this player was wearing with a sensor designed to give warning. And the question, why didn't it pick up this particular hit? Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. Number 18, Josh Nava makes the tackle. He's down and he looks like he's in pain. But he barely makes it back to the sideline Friday night, wobbling till a teammate props him up, then collapsing under that bench. Came off the field, everything seemed normal. This ambulance rushing the 17-year-old defensive back to a hospital in Riverside, California for emergency surgery to stop the bleeding and swelling on his brain. Like his teammates that night, Nava was wearing Rydell's inside impact helmet, rimmed with sensors. That sensor is, is in there to monitor the severity of certain impacts and also the frequency of certain impact as well. But in Nava's case, the school district says his helmet sensor did not work. Now, products like these are not going to stop the concussion epidemic, but if a coach sees a red light like this blinking, he at least knows to take a second look at a player wearing this helmet. Rydell telling ABC News, since few facts are known, it would be inappropriate for us to speculate about the incident. Tonight, Nava is still in an induced coma, but at least now, his family says, he's breathing on his own. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Los Angeles.